Hi there. In this video, I'm going to give you some great basketball shooting form tips and also some basketball shooting techniques that you can use to really improve your shot. And then I'll also show you where you can get more tips, drills, and videos for really helping you become a better player overall. Now, the first thing I want to mention is, have you ever doubted your ability to shoot the basketball? It might be that you've never had the confidence in your shot to begin with. Maybe you're a good shooter who's gone through some shooting slumps. I've personally seen players go from being very below average to being the best on their team just by learning correct basketball shooting form and then practicing and practicing to perfect their technique. If you have the discipline to both practice with, um, you know, practice hard and practice with correct technique, then I can guarantee that you'll become a better shooter. This video will help you regardless if, you know, the longest shot you'll ever take is a free throw or a three-pointer. Now, here's a breakdown of proper basketball shooting form. Number one, your feet. The purpose of your shooting stance is threefold. The first purpose is that it lines up the rest of your body, which lines up your shooting arm to release the ball so that it goes straight at the rim. Then it is consistent so that you can get your feet aligned the same way every time, no matter how fast you're moving into the catch for your shot. And thirdly, it provides you with a solid base so that you can't be forced off balance by the defense. So, you know, basically the shooting stance is very important for lining up reasons, for being consistent regardless of how fast you're moving, and to also give you a solid base. Now, the most natural foot placement is with your feet about shoulder width apart for balance. Your shooting foot, which is your right foot for right-handed shooters and left foot for left-handed shooters, will be slightly forward of your other foot. The toes of your non-shooting foot should line up across from the heel of your shooting foot. Now, there are two schools of thought on where to point your toes. You should work to see which one is more comfortable to you and more importantly, which one is more effective for you. Effective in this case means the stance that allows you to get the flight of the ball straight at the basket. The closed stance is where the shooter has a shooting foot pointing directly at the center of the rim. And the non-shooting foot should be positioned for comfort and balance. Now, if you shoot with an open stance, your feet point towards the side of the basket. The purpose for the stance is to provide a more natural alignment with your shoulder and the basket. If you're a right-handed shooter, your toes will point to the left of the rim. If you're a left-handed shooter, your toes will point to the right of the rim. So basically, those are two different ways to position your toes, and you should find which one is most comfortable for you. Now, the next thing that you need to focus on for your shooting form is your hands. To get the correct backspin, your shot must be a push with only your shooting hand. However, your guide hand is an important part of the shot as it balances and steadies the ball as you work through your shooting motion. Place your guide hand on the side of the ball, not in front of the basketball. To get an idea of how to align the fingers on your shooting hand, the air nozzle should be between your index and middle finger. Your fingers should be going across the seams so that you're able to see the backspin when you release your shot. Your fingers should be spread apart so that you're able to balance the ball between your guide hand. Balance the ball without your guide hand, I should say. Correct hand position allows your elbow to remain in alignment with the ball. Okay, the next thing to focus on with your shooting form is your head. Shooting on balance is an important part of being a consistently good shooter, and your head plays an important role in your balance. Your head should be over the center of your feet on jump shots. Another critical factor in body balance is what you watch. Your eyes should be fixed on the eyelid of the rim that is directly in front of you. It's a fundamental mistake for your eyes to follow the flight of the basketball after you release it. When your eyes look up to see the ball, so does your head and that disrupts your balance. So make sure to focus your eyes on the eyelet of the rim. Another important part of your shot is between your ears. Your mind has a big influence on your shot. You can't overthink what you're doing. 
The time to think about your basketball shooting form is not as you're shooting in a game, but rather when you're practicing. You need to spend enough practice time so that your shot in games is an instinctive habit of movement that you've perfected during practice. And the final thing that you need to work on when it comes to your shot is releasing your shot. The ball should be in front of you, your body, throughout the entire shot. You must avoid the mistake of taking the basketball behind your head. As you push the ball out of your hands, your guide hand should remain still and not apply any force at all to the shot. That will help you maintain backspin. As you push the ball toward the basket, imagine putting your hand in the basket. It ends up looking like a gooseneck. Make or mix, miss, hold that high follow through until the ball is below the net. You don't really need to believe it when people tell you that there are natural born shooters. It's true that some players have better hand-eye coordination than others. It's also true that basketball players who have more flexible upper bodies are more suited for being good shooters, but I believe that anyone who consistently applies proper basketball shooting technique can become a better shooter. Now, if you really want to take your overall shooting and your basketball game to the next level, then go ahead and click the link in the description box underneath this video and you'll be able to see some great tips, drills, and videos for really helping you improve your game, whether you're, a, whether you're a player and this will also help you if you're a coach. So go ahead and click the link in the description box below. Hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.